here are resources for the Young Hoosier Book Award nominee, The Happy Book by Andy Rash. We'll start out by looking at resources provided by the Indiana Library Federation, which include a summary that is, two friends, Camper and Clam, are happy together until Camper eats all of the cake. The characters go through feelings of sadness, anger, and fear, and they learn that all feelings are okay. They provide a resource guide, which includes a book talk, challenging words, author and illustrator bio, a link to the website and discussion questions, as well as an activity sheet. And the activity sheet is focused on practicing reading fluency and it's geared towards students in first and second grade. So with a partner, the students read quotes from the happy book and they decide the feeling of the quote and they indicate that by underlining the quotes with different colored crayons that represent the different feelings. And it encourages students to practice reading the quotes with a voice that matches the feeling. And then they have eight quotes for the students to read through. My STEM connection idea for this book goes along with technology, and it's just a little fun activity for students to uh, practice using their technology skills to make a face. And I found this online resource at abcia.com forward slash games forward slash make underscore a underscore face. So let's take a look at that. You'll notice that um, ABC is pretty kid friendly. It's a click and drag activity. So once they hit play, then they can go ahead and make a face and they get all of these different options for the facial features. So you can encourage students to tie their face back into the book. Maybe their face can represent some of the different feelings. And of course, this would make a great lead into an SEL lesson or um, a school counselor could come in and talk about feelings as a tie into that. Once students make their face, they can simply click the save button and it will download. So then they could even turn that into, um, if you have a learning management system or a way for your students to submit online work. Thank you.